Mr. Martin. Hello. Hello. Hello, Yike. Yeah, listen, I've been listening to your show. Yes? And quite frankly, if you don't mind me saying so, it is the worst program I have ever heard on the radio. And you listen to the radio? Yeah, well, I see, my sister, I'm stopping at my sister's at the moment. Yes. And let me tell you this. She said, have you heard this program? So I've tuned, and I'll tell you what, it is a disgrace. Well, I'll tell you And something. I'm going to complain about you well, the way you cut people off. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something, Mr. Martin. I am surprised. Yeah, Mr. Martin, Yeah, you. all right, I'm surprised that your sister can put up with you because you're an obnoxious old fool. How dare you? You're an obnoxious old fool. I want an apology I, off you. You, you, you get nothing no, like an apology off me. I, you. Have, I have been in but, this business. Just a Hello? minute, Mr. Martin. Hello? You're an obnoxious old fool. Hello? Now, have we got that straight? Well, you are despicable. That. I don't now, care. No, I want an apology off you, no, and you I will want not it get now. An apology, because I have nothing to apologize about to you. Do you know, I I just cannot believe this. Well, you you I, better I, start I, believing it, because I'll tell you, it's time you pin back your luggles, Mr. Martin. Do you know, I just can't believe it. I am 72 years of age. I've been in the war. And I'll tell you what, I've oh, never yeah, had to right. put up yeah, with right. complete idiots I'll, like you. I'll now, are you I'll, going to apologize or not? I bet you have spent the last 50 years of your life trading on the fact that you happen to be in the war. Yeah, have you, you ever been in one? Were you, were you, have you ever been in one? Were you a cook or something like that, eh? Have you ever been in a... No, you haven't, because people well, like you, you see, wouldn't dare well, go in one. I may as... I, I may well have been in the war. No, you have not. All right, Because if you've been in a war, you would know how to speak to someone well, like me. What do you mean, speak to someone and like me? I'll tell you, you I have come you, up from England. You obviously... And to listen to, listen to this utter clap trap. You obviously... I can't wait hey, to go back. Mr. Martin, Mr. Martin, we'd all be obliged if you'd go back to England. Where did you come from? I'm very sorry for your poor sister. I've walked all over the place. What do you mean, where I came from? That's none of Are your you business. Are you going to apologize or not? No, I am certainly not going to apologize. Now, tell I me... I am me going to write. You write. I'm going to write. Right, you write to any of you like, Mr. I Martin. am. No, right. I'm and going I'll to, and I want an apology. Write, write to me, okay, and I'll rip your no, letter this off. is your last chance. I'm yeah. going to give you one chance. Yeah, well, you give me as many one chances as you like. Oh, and if you oh, don't apologize, chance. you are one going chance. to be in serious, serious trouble. It is trouble. trouble. All right, yeah, we've heard all that. Is this what you used to give the Germans during the war? What right? I gave the Germans? You see, you'd run, you'd run away, you. Oh, I like a lot away. of Scottish people who oh, do lovely. run away from lovely. the enemy. People like you. I see, I've, I've lived well, I haven't with run Scottish away from people. You. I haven't I've been in the army you. with Scottish people. Oh, I yes. tell you what, the Scottish people are a race that are frightened of of uh, of war. And, and and people like you, you see, you're on your own mouth. And yet when people are there putting on a point of view to you, it's quite it's quite plain in my mind that you are frightened of hearing the truth. So you cut people off. How dare you? And that's you. you. You're a How coward. How dare you? How dare you? you? How dare you talk to me like that? I'll tell you something, mate. No, right? you, well, you, see, you Far from me. Anything. Far you from can't. me. You owing can't. you an apology. You, you owe, you owe the listeners to this radio station you one mouth of apology. You always have been. You know, You're a coward. Yeah, You're I've a coward. You see, I've it's on your mind. Like you. You've never seen a trench in your life. The only trench you've ever been in is one that you've fallen into because oh. you've been so pissed. Hello? I'll tell you something. Look, Listen, I, look, you're, you're, I'm you're not going to... I'm, I'm the not, Scotsman I'm I've not, ever known. Listen, you're all mouth. I'm not going to take, I'm not gonna take any more of this from you, all right, Nadie? Now, you write to who no, you I'll like, you, right? Well, but I'm, I'm mouth, a very, very busy man. Every single I am a very, mouth. very busy man, and I don't have time for any more of your crap. Right. That sorted him out.